So it is time. So this is the Infinite Game, and I'm talking about basic alternative investments. And today I'm gonna be talking about Pokemon. And I normally go into things more about long term investments. And I think a lot of people are concerned about the just the market in general in cards. And for Pokemon, it is down from most all time highs for cards, but I would say that there is plenty of room for it to grow and I'm going to be showing you different years and the cards and how much that they are going for. Um, this is, this should be pretty, pretty common. So this is from PWCC marketplace and you can go and look at prices and they keep price data from sales, confirmed sales from 2004 until now. So everything they've sold on their website, and most of the time it's through eBay, they archive it on their website. So you can go back and see what cards and things sold for if they sold on the website, like back in 2016, if you wanted to. Um, and you can see like the price pro uh, projection over time and how it's basically increased. There's been peaks and valleys, but for the most part, things have pretty much gone up. And then you can see the 1999 Pokemon base set, first edition Blastoise Hollow PSA 10, sold for about $7,000 about two years ago, um, which is, is extremely high. But you can see there, like, what the price or the confirmed price. And then you can see in 2021, um, just a little under a few months ago, that you know, it went from 7,500 to 31,000. Um, listen, flipping cards can be very valuable, but I, it just makes more sense to, if you don't have the time to really just be in the market every single day doing mostly research and then saving up money and just buying stuff or flipping every single day, buying something and then flipping it the same day, um, if you don't have time or don't want to put in the effort to do that, then it just makes more sense to just save up money, buy the car and hold it for at least a couple years and hold it long term. Um, just because it's going to go up. Yes, there's peaks and valleys, but overall is going up. I mean, that's like a 4x return in just a couple years which you don't really get that in the stock market and many other markets. So, um, and two years from now, you're going to see it higher. It may not 4X, it may just double, but it's going to be much more worth much more than what it is now. Um, and this is just the first edition Blastoise. I'm going to be going over the other cards coming up as well. And also now we have the 1989 base set um, Gyarados Hollow First Edition. So and this is the Shadowless version. This is at a PSA nine. Um, just to let you know, this isn't just for PSA ten cards. It's for PSA nine. I'm looking at First Edition because I think First Edition is the better investment just because it's more rare. But um, in May six, an auction. And keep in mind. Um, auctions for PWCC typically in higher than let's say somebody trying to sell them on eBay um, but they may still be lower than someone trying to buy it offline a lot of times people for whatever reasons take premiums off pay premiums um, offline for whatever reason but yeah two thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars um, that was the price in May which is fetches a really good price you know PSA 10 uh, I haven't actually looked at it, but I believe if a PSA 9 is that, I believe it's be probably about 10K. And then you can see um, in 2019, um, it sold for $435. So, I mean, selling for 400 and some dollars is, and then two years later, selling for over 2,000. I mean, that's over five, that's about five X, which is a amazing price. So if you 
whole for four, five, you mean whole for two years, I mean, you could possibly four or five extra money um, for what you put in. Um, I think it just makes more sense to look at things long term. You look at things yearly, uh, where prices are going to be a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. And don't get caught up in hype because there are going to be celebrities who come in and other things that are going to change people's opinions and people are going to put money in, take it out and then put it into something else and then put it back in uh, where it just makes sense to just hold your money and not try to time the market. Um, I think that's the biggest mistake and that's how people lose money. Also, I'm showing the 2017 picture just to show you that everything, it doesn't go up every single year. Um, so it could be a couple years where it's stagnant, but over time it does increase um, for just different reasons. People actually figure out that this is actually valuable um, or they want it because everything else is overpriced and then they go into it. So you see in 2017, one of them sold for 420 dollars and another one sold for about 555 dollars um there is price fluctuations obviously the person who probably paid the 555 dollars overpaid but it doesn't necessarily matter though because if you held it for four years you'll be up yeah so um the other thing is you should just uh, ignore november 7 2013 uh, i believe that's like the german edition or something like that and i don't think it's the first edition either um but the one below that one, um, it's crazy that that car used to be $5,000. That's eight years ago. I mean, you look at eight years out, you see that even though that's insane, it's sent for a car, even especially then, um, and that would have been out of most people's budgets, um, you see that it's an extremely, it was much cheaper than it is now, which I'm about to show you. Um, and then thick, I think that's just something to try to sell the card. I guess back then that was one of the things um, that people would put. I think before it used to be people would put, now people put Jim Mint or, you know, Flawless or something like that to try to sell the card for more money. Um, but for whatever reason, they use thick, which makes zero sense to me. Um, but yeah, this, this is a Charizard. I mean highly in demand i mean there's a shadowless one and then there is the not shadowless one um and then here we go 2017 um that we see and then you can see that the car shot up to eighteen thousand dollars um which is a hefty price and then here's the other thing um in 2019, there's one that sold for about 15000 So there are times when things do go down in price over a year or so. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to stay there. Um, so it goes from 5 to 18 to 15 to almost 300000 so yeah, I mean that's that's a lot of money. Um, this one just skyrocketed because just people, so many people were coming in the Pokemon market, and there was so much demand for it. First edition Hollow, especially Shadowless, very few, very low pop count. Um, I believe it's. I have to check again, but I believe it's in the hundreds. I'll, I'll probably make a video on pop counts for Pokemon cards and which ones are undervalued and overbought value, and it mostly be opinion based. But I'll throw some facts in there. Um, and I have seen some that have sold for four or five hundred thousand, but more more so in in person. Um, but yeah, like over time, and then that's just last year. And then if you see the price, um, you can see that if you invested in two thousand thirteen, you could have made a hundred x, which is insane. Um, so 2013, you bought the car, you held it for eight years, you would have made a hundred X, which is just ridiculous. So I'm using a bit of an old photo, but, um, I will pose a question, uh, which do you think has the largest fan base? I think both of these cars will go up the most in the next two years. Um, my bet is Pokemon. 
but um, tell me what you think and I'll probably make a video about it. I know the prices are a little dated, um, but I believe around last year they sold for that about the, those amounts. But I believe that's around the price range they're at now. Also, please comment below. Um, please like and subscribe. And yeah, give me suggestions on other things I should talk about. I definitely appreciate you guys listening.